Yep, that's right. We are doing tacos because it is Tuesday and we're going to do a chili con carne and we're going to put it in our tacos and finish it with some sour cream and some spring onion and coriander. It's going to be great. And a little bit different to this recipe, we are going to use some brisket instead of mince. Everyone uses mince. We're going to use some beef brisket. It takes a bit longer to cook, but the results are absolutely fantastic. We've got lots of chilies in there, fresh ones, dried ones, these beautiful dried ancho chilies. And I've got some little habaneros for a little bit of a kick. It's going to be great. We are in the Mastercraft kitchen for a Mexican Tuesday taco hat. And we are making a very own special version of this, uh, well, what I like to call the chili con carne with brisket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're using brisket today. So really like flavoursome piece of meat. It works really well. You just need to cook it for like two, two and a half hours so it's nice and tender. Mm. So I've just started the chili here. Yep. So good amount of oil in there. And I've just sweated some red onions in there. Got some oregano. Um, some smoked paprika and some cumin as well. So that's just been cooking and softening for about 10 minutes. Oh, I can smell that from oh, here. All about flavor. Right, I've got some beef stock here, yeah. and then I've just rehydrated these dried chilies okay. in the beef stock for about 10 minutes. So just bring them up to the boil, drop them in, turn it off. I've never seen these before. That's some fascinating. Taste it, it's great. <laughs> no, I'm not going to taste it. I'm not that silly. Okay, so you rehydrated them? Yeah, so you just rehydrate them. So obviously it's going to uh, release loads of flavour into the stock, give you a nice, nice chilli hit, and then it allows you to, um, it softens up the chilli, it allows you to chop, chop it all up. up. So we're just going to roughly chop that. So that goes into the onions. Yep. And also a fresh chilli as well. Woo! Good into work. the onions. You know, it just gives us lots of different sort of chilli flavours, you know, using nice. fresh and dried and different types. Okay. By the way, you can get everything you need for this at thecafe.co.nz. All right, now I'm going to put the beef stock in there. Yeah. So that goes in there. Bring it to the boil. Oh, the we'll smell. We'll Incredible. start adding a few more ingredients into that. So we've got some garlic, so we've just sliced it. So yep. there's quite a few cloves here. So you've got okay. to think as well, there's a lot of flavour in here and a lot of like... <laughs> and a spoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all flavour. A lot of strong flavours in there, but it is going to cook for a long time. We've got some fresh bay leaves, that okay. goes in there, and some cinnamon as well. Works really well. Okay, nice Sweetness. work. Sweetness. Right, and let's talk about the brisket. Okay, you talk about the brisket. Right, so we're going to dice this brisket. Okay. So it's quite, it's, well, it's a really tough piece of meat. So you can see the grains running across. Yes. So you want to make sure we're cutting across that grain when we do the cubes. Okay. All right, and then that will just help you. It will help it make it nice and tender. Okay. Nice. That's so we're just going to do want. it. So you can take a little bit of this off if, if it's annoying you. Yeah. So you just run your knife over, just take it off. But you can leave a little bit on because it's, you know, it's just going to melt in and give you extra flavour into the stock. Well, no, no, I love the flavour of yeah. fat. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> Everyone yeah. does. Okay, so you cube this up. Yeah. So then just How go... big do you want them? About that? About yeah, just, just sort yeah. of the like bite size, you know. Nice. Because we're going to put it in a taco after. Yeah, well, speaking of which, this is what we'll be using. These are new old El Paso mini stand and stuff tacos. Um, I love the size of these, and what I think is great is that you can basically use these for good rugby watching tacos, for <laughs> parties, for little snacks. It'll be perfect in the lunchbox. If you want more inspirational ideas, just go to their website. Okay. Right, so the stock's come up to the boil now. So we've got some tomatoes in there. Yeah. So just kind of, uh, just tomatoes, you know, crushed or whole, either or. Nice. So that goes in. If you're using whole ones, just give them a light crush. I mean, they will break down, you know, once we start cooking. And that's going to be the base. Okay, we've still got a few more ingredients before we add the meat. Okay, sweet. And uh, how long is that meat going to take? You oh, about two and a half hours. You okay, really want to make sure it's really soft. Tender. So we've got okay. a little bit of uh, sugar going in there as well, and a little bit of coffee as well. Nice. So coffee's going to give you a nice sort of deep richness. Okay, uh, good. Well, we're getting through these coffee yeah. jars, aren't we? That's fantastic. Yeah, we're trying. And then we're going to put them in <laughs> this little... Look at these little mini tacos from El Paso. That is so awesome. I'm really excited about these because my kids just love Mexican food. So I had to come in and help so I can learn a few things so I can go home and impress everybody. So what do you want me to do, Mark? <laughs> right, you can put all the ingredients in. Right, so in here, so this has been cooking for about two and a half hours. Wow. Yep. So you can see it's nice and rich. You've got all those flavours coming out. The it's meat's starting to soften. So we're not finished yet. So we've got a selection of beans which we're going to add at this stage now. So kidney beans and uh, just some butter beans. They're massive butter beans, aren't they? Yeah. What are they? Butter beans. Butter, butter beans. beans. <laughs> butter beans. <laughs> okay. In they go. Yeah, in they go. And then we've got some uh, peppers as well. So it's going to do a nice little slice of uh, beans as well. Some peppers. Yes, please. <laughs> Good, you're checking, Mel. Yeah, just, <laughs> just in case. Just checking. I'm sure right, I turn the heat down or just give it a bit of a. Give it a stir. Give it a taste. See where we're at with the flavour. If we need a little bit more seasoning. Have yeah, I got a tasting spoon? Right. Oh, yeah, I can find you one, love. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Just on the little bit of the, the... Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you think. How's it tasting? It smells good. Oh, it's hot. 
as one would expect when it's been cooking for two hours. <laughs> oh, that's got a kick. I love it. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Well, it is a chilli. Yeah. That's a good chilli. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna need some sour cream with that one. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's really nice. Okay. Spicy. Right, so that's it. So peppers go in, and we want to cook that. We're not finished yet, Mike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we still want to, yeah, cover it up again for a little bit, and then if, you, if your sauce is reduced down like that, you can put the uh, lid back on and just continue cooking so that all the beans are warmed through and the, soft, uh, the peppers are softened. Um, if you've still got quite a lot of liquid, cook it with the lid off so you, you sort of start reducing that um, liquid so it's not going to swim all over. In? I would put the lid on for about 10 minutes, take the lid off for about 10 minutes, I reckon we're perfect. Okay, yeah. Mm, Ooh, nice. that's I'm just firing. counting out how many people are here. By the way... Yeah, they're, these are your... <laughs> yeah, they're all mine. <laughs> they're all Mel's. By the way, I've got a little competition at the moment. If you go to our Facebook page, the first five people to post some entertaining with old El Paso will win some of these. So if you've got an idea, what would you put in them, or how would you serve them in what environment, whatever, just go to our Facebook page, enter, and you could win. Use them to hold, like, little guacamole things, just oh. like holding your dip for oh. your things and everything. No, you're anyway. talking, you're giving people ideas, good work, man. I know. Um, or you could just say, make this recipe. Well, yes, you, you could. could. <laughs> that looks fantastic, though, really fantastic. Now, I really cannot wait to try that, because... Yum! OK, let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen to get the finishing touches to Mark's Mexican feast with El Paso tacos. Right, the chilli's cooked down, so it's nice and thick now. We've put it in our taco shells, a little bit of sour cream, spring onion, garnish with some coriander, and they are ready to go. Oh, yeah. yeah! OK, come on up here, Paul. You can try something yeah. out if you want. There you go. 